EMC. So how do you know if it's the best? <laughs> Does it pass the finger test? You know what? I traded my the guy I worked with at the trailer. Uh -huh. I gave him my good hood. I took this one because I was going to scrap this. You got some scotch tape. And he was going to uh, use that truck for the business, right? So I gave him my good hood. And now oh, I'm driving the, uh, the and he's center never, bolt. He's never driven the other truck. The center bolt valve covers with the one piece rear main seal. And the uh, this must be an 87. 87. Yep, it's the last year for this body style, the square nose, or the drooped square nose, right. and the first year for fuel injection, Yep. and that flat micro V-belt on the alternator, but the old style V-belt on the power steering pump. Yep. And it's a half ton, so it's got a 700 R4 transmission, half the mud. That I didn't know. It's a low, very low on oil. Yeah. Nice and red though. That's got a leak. Well, at least to keep it filled, and that keeps the fluid nice and fresh. First year for fuel injection, and the last year for this body, except on the Blazers and the one tons, and the Suburbans. And that's a 305. Yeah. With the new pressure hose. Interesting. 65,000 miles after 30 years. Oh, yeah. Check the mud. Changes the oil regularly. No, that, that oil is real bad. Once a year, whether it needs it or not, or in this case, once every 10 years. It took about five you know, minutes. I put about a thousand miles a year on this. Luckily, it's all downhill, except when you have to stop at the bottom and the brakes are rusty. You know how much I bought this for? Luckily, look at this. The frame still has black paint on it. But the inner wheel well is uh... That just happened a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Finally gave it up. Sheetrock screw will fix that right up. Yeah, if you've got a leak, I'd have to pull the transmission out. I don't know what something in there is leaking. First year for fuel injection. GM was experimenting. Since yeah, the throttle Corvair. body fuel injection. GM had fuel injection in Corvettes in 57, and all the Chevrolets could have had it 57, 58. Right. And even in 59, you could have had fuel injection on an Impala. They had it on Pontiacs. They had it a couple. They made a couple for Ramblers in 56. Now I think, is this the only year they put it on? This was the last year for this body style, but they continued that same fuel injection on the 88, which has the independent front suspension and that stupid uh -huh. half-moon speedometer. We got a nice battery. Yeah, those are great. No Probably one of those. They're, they're really good. What's this alligator clip for? We know that, what people that's use. That's my heater. That. We know what people use this for after work. <laughs> Maybe. No, rather than uh, replace the switch, I just threw that on there. Yep. It's rusted. Now is that an Ahuga horn or a siren? It was a Ahuga horn, but it's not working. It's not a hooging anymore. It lost its ahuga. Sometimes you just hit it with a hammer and it'll work. Boy, yeah. it sounds great. It's a ahuga. Where's the hammer? Try press the button. How do you make it work? I got a button on the dashboard. Give it a try. Let's see if we got our ahuga. I know how to hammer it. Just making sure it didn't get disconnected. Can you stick that back in for me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bang it with my head. It lost its honk. Oh. I know a guy that rebuilds Teslas. I wonder if he'd tackle one of these babies. Let me see, where am I here? Green wire. Just check I don't the know why it's not It was working. I don't know. I think it's it's probably been since last summer. It hasn't blown. What happens when you get old is you think it was last year or two years ago, and you look at your paperwork and it's oh, seven yeah. years ago. Yeah, I can't even remember when I registered that sometimes. 
I just had a guy come for the insurance on my Suburban. He says, you just had this repaired. I said, yeah, what, three or four years ago? He says, 2011. Well, that's seven years ago. Yeah, when I looked at the trailer plate on my flatbed, little fluid film. Is your security system armed? He's armed. Hi, baby. Yep. It's like turbo lag. Took a couple of seconds to warm up. Only 65,000 miles. He only acts like that when he thinks he's doing his job. Now, I guess the floorboards are good? No. The floor boards? Yeah, the wooden floor. You got wooden floorboards. <laughs> Yeah. I have a sheet of aluminum and then the wood on top. Rockers are solid. Wait a minute. There are no rockers. What's going to protect the fuel tank in case of a side impact collision? Uh, nothing. Do you think that rocker's going to help? Yep. I think the whole body is like broken. You think so? It's got a good bumper. If somebody drives into this thing, they're going to regret it. Paint's getting a little thin. Would you call that patina? <laughs> yeah, Rich rebuilds Teslas and... That's out of that camper. Oh, I need two of these bags. Thick ones, too. These are like the uh, paper towels that I told you not to take so many of because they're so thick. Yeah. Yeah, I think those cost like 75 cents a piece. Exactly. Promise. But when you're hauling and picking up heavy stuff. I'm going to take two. I'm going to charge you double. You get, to, you get to go where you're going. Yeah, you you go without go leaving half of it behind on the ground like when you use those. Trash bag liners that yeah, you buy cheap. Well, uh, back in the box. Contractor bags. Sometimes I go to the dump and I'll dump up the trash and I'll save the bag. Yeah, yeah, you don't that. put sharp things in. What's this? That's off a boat. I thought I'd seen it all. What do you think, buddy? You seen it all? <laughs> Armed and ready. Diamond blade. The only problem with this thing is when you fire it up, you got to look out for your knuckles because that'll take like them the thumb. right off. I got myself right in the tip of my thumb. I did that once. All right, I got my contractor bags. I am all ready to rumble. I'd say that that trailer hitch hangs down just a wee bit too much. I wouldn't want to go off roading in this two wheel drive Chevy truck. Well, you know what? That bumper came off of a heavy duty three quarter ton. I believe it. Heavy, right? I'd say it came off of a one ton. Well, it's a, it, it, you might call it one ton. What it was, it was a Chevy truck that was built mm -hmm. to put a big camper in, mm -hmm. right? The hubs are, uh, you know, they stick out. Yeah, that's yeah, those are the full floating. Well, you just take off those eight bolts, six or eight bolts, and the axle comes. Right, it's got eight, whoosh, eight lugs, and, and it's got a four speed with a granny gear. SM465. And when I got it, it ran on propane. Yeah, I've seen those. They're hard to start in the winter, though. You got to turn them off on gas and start well, them I on gas. It over to gas. What yeah. else we got here? That, was a, that truck would pull anything. Oh, yeah, yeah except do? pull past the gas station. It would pull the gas station because you need one. What do they got underneath here? You know, you know what I put in there? I pulled the engine out to rebuild it. To, you know the guy that used to be behind the penny saver? That little shop back there? Glass pack muffler. It used to be oh, a it's got a carrier muffler. bearing. I'm listening. Um, Original differential cover. I'm trying to figure out what that block is on the suspension. That block is supposed to be on the top of the axle. Well, it probably swung around. Yep. I think I lost one block and the other one swung around. Yep. Yeah, hillbilly timbrins. I wonder how that carrier bearing is. I just changed one of the Mercedes. Off of 350, I said, can you rebuild these for me? He says, give me 75 bucks and take those two heads over there. 
rusted. Time I go to the bathroom. I use a sodium film. Oh, it's got a new U joint. Yeah. I hope it has inside locking clips because otherwise, <laughs> better use the hose clamp to hold them on. Still has the catalytic converter. Oh, we're loving it. So he said it'll keep your engine cool. Well, the valves don't heat up because they right. cool better. They, they dissipate yeah. the heat better. They don't absorb the heat of the exhaust. So How's sure that enough, body mount? After I put those heads on there, good tin floor, good tin body. I could go up any hill with a flatbed with a big trailer uh, tractor on it. That oil filter looks old. You change it no, regularly, no. once every ten years, whether it needs it or not. Yeah. I think I have a good use one. I can, I can give you. <laughs> I think what we'll get here is we'll get you a sheetrock screw in exchange for that. A couple of trash bags. So still got I the could splash go up shields. Any hill Pound and you know, pulling yep. a giant load, never overheat. It was like somebody put a pin in the temperature gauge, it wouldn't heat up. So, I'm a firm believer in the sodium filled valve stems, but I'm I the agree. Only, I'm the only person I know that ever had them. The guy said, I can't remember his name, but he said uh, they used to put them on heavier trucks when they put a, a small block. Junk. Junk GMC. That's sort of a. It's the best. A judgment, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Crank that baby up. I'm gonna pick up all my detrius here. Crank her up and see how she runs with that mud for oil. Oil filters, two dollars at Walmart. Crank her up. The original starter. Oh, I saw you holding up the gear shift. I gotta pull it over because the rear transmission mount has collapsed, so I can't see it. This is how nice that runs 65,000 miles. Still has the original oil and spark plugs Double. and spark plug wires. Everything. All right, enough of this torture. I'll give you one sheetrock screw to hold that inner fender on. <laughs> oh boy, 305. Still tight. Motor's still good. With a fresh oil change. Well, you know what? You, I didn't finish my story. You gotta listen. Right? This was to be used and then parted out, uh -huh. right? Because I have another one I got from the city that's a four-wheel drive. Yeah. Right? So this was going to be parts for that one. The same truck but four-wheel drive. Yeah. The bushings are still good. No mileage. But... There's I, the compression right there. 150, 165, 150, and 150. Permanently um, etched. So what, do you, what do you try... What are the, the uh, 379? Like 250 or something? 250 what? Oh, the compression 300 pounds. If you could hold the compression tester in the hole, in the glow plug hole. All right, enough of this. So anyways, this was supposed to be parts for yet. that truck, right? We're not done yet. But that one, that one needs uh, Radius needs fenders for oversized tires, look at that. Oh, and when I bought it. Good tires. Junk. You're gonna make fun of this truck. Okay, let's all be serious here. I'm gonna trade in my Tesla for this because this is reliable and from what I've been watching of rich rebuilds Tesla's are junk are they yep junk <laughs>